What you guys got another video here for you now if you want to get into the Raspberry Pi uh, craze that's going on then this could be the kit for you it's the Labest starter kit for Raspberry Pi 4 Model B it's three times faster performance than the previous generations of Raspberry Pi now you've got yourself a Broadcom BCM uh, 2711 quad core Cortex A72 processor which is runs at 1.5 gigahertz and you've also got the four gigabyte version here but they do one gigabyte and two gigabyte versions 3200 SD RAM and also you have two USB 2.0 ports and two USB 3.0 ports comes with two micro HDMI ports on here and it also supports it also supports the H265 and it also supports 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz running on Wi-Fi with the AC generation so this is everything you can get inside the kit now if you're just starting out then this sort of kit can be really ideal because it's got everything inside here that you're going to need to get up and running you've got your quick start guide here which helps you set it up it's pretty straightforward color pictures English text very easy and I'll go through and show you how to set this up it's pretty straightforward stuff but if you've never used uh, a Raspberry Pi before and you want to get into it then something like this is very useful now this one comes with a 64 gigabyte SanDisk class 10 micro SD card with noobs pre-installed on there so you can just boot up to it and it will already be uh, pre-installed with the operating system you've also got this USB A and C card reader on here as well just slide it out and it's got that type C connector on the end which is quite useful as well now the good thing about this whole kit is it means you don't have to rush out and worry about all the other bits and pieces you've got your heat sinks here which you can use and stick these onto the CPU and also the memory as well and you can stick those on there you got your plug which comes with a nice handy little uh, power on button here which I do like and of course you can use uh, other separate uh, plug adapters if you want to go out and buy all this separately you can do but with this kit it just makes it a lot easier for beginners to get up and running with a Raspberry Pi you can see here you've got a cooling fan here comes with the screws and a screwdriver to help you screw this all down into the actual case which comes in the kit also now you can upgrade these uh, cooling fans there's plenty of them out there on the market I'll show you how to upgrade your cooling fans if you want to get much better cooling temps for the Raspberry Pi 4 because it does run a little bit hotter you do have a couple of HDMI cables here one with the HDMI connection on it to go to your monitor and also the mini HDMI which does support uh, two mini HDMI ports on the new Raspberry Pi 4 you've got your little screwdriver here and also you've got your warranty and your uh, manual for the actual Raspberry Pi itself and you've got this nice little housing here for your Raspberry Pi it's got anti-slip rubber feet here plenty of ventilation on the bottom and you can see this is where all your uh, USB 2.0 and 3.0 ports will be and your LAN port again it's got Bluetooth wireless uh, connectivity on here Wi-Fi connectivity and there's your micro SD card slot on there as well we'll go through here your DC in and also your micro uh, HDMI and also your audio this just done clips basically and you've got your screws in here so let's take a look at the Raspberry Pi 4 itself you can see it's a credit card size computer very very small indeed based on a Linux single board computer and uh, also if you want to learn uh, how to code or explore computing and you don't want to drop a lot of money then something like this can be useful it's got a 1 gigabit Ethernet port here and you can see the two USB 3.0 and two USB 2.0s on there you've got all your connectivity on here for your audio HDMI and also for your power this is a bit it has the ability to output 4k video at 60 Hertz and it also has a dual monitor support on this little tiny uh, board here you can see the CPU is on there as well and I do like this whole uh, aspect of it you've got your memory there I do like the whole uh, aspect of the Raspberry Pi it's a great little bit of kit you can do so much with these these little heat sinks will just sit on there and you've got your little micro SD card slot on the back so it's very clever how they've built this little mini computer and uh, I'll show you what some of the things you can do with it in the up and coming uh, weeks so basically what you've got here is a little mini PC and you can plug in your fans and bits and pieces along this side here this is your 40 pin GPIO header and uh, basically you plug your fans into there 
and whatever you need to plug into there so you've got your little mini computer here absolutely awesome design it really is i do love these little things and you can do so much with them uh, so depending on what you want to do so you can run ubuntu mate on here ubuntu core ubuntu server osmc uh, you can also do windows 10 iot core pretty much just about whatever you want to do with these sort of things you can do so a great little thing you can set up a security camera home security camera systems on here uh, file sharing so let's go ahead and get this all set up and then we'll power it up so i'm just going to pull the top off here now if you don't want to use any of these uh, bits of components you can always buy plenty of other bits for the raspberry pi there's tons of stuff on amazon which you can uh, buy and upgrade to but this is a great little starter kit for someone who's never been into raspberry pi before so you just need to plug in your little uh, fan here you can see it's going into these little pins here it's all clear on the instructions how to do this if you're not familiar with it now of course the fan will uh, either suck air in or blow air out depending which way you rotate it this way will be blowing air out now you just need to decide whether you want to suck hot air away from the cpu or whether you want to blow cold air over the cpu it's entirely up to you now there is cooler heat sinks out there on the market will actually sit right on top of the cpu itself and cool the cpu right down which i think are really awesome and i'll be making another video to show you how to do those uh, for this little tiny device here now once you've got this in the little case here all you need to do is make sure it's pushed right into the little holes and then screw down here with your mounting screws there's only four of them so just screw them straight down comes with the screws in the kit so who are these uh kits designed for now of course at this sort of price point they're designed for the beginner who doesn't know anything about uh, raspberry pi or mini pcs and he just wants to go out there and buy the kit and he's got everything he needs it's even got the operating system pre-installed onto the micro sd card so you just slot it in and you're good to go so it's took all the hard work out of it for you once you've got this done all you need to do is mount the fan and also mount the heat sinks and you're good to go there and you're ready to to do whatever you want with your raspberry pi these stick on to the actual cpu the memory and also the video so you just need to basically drop those on now i'm not sticking this onto the cpu i'm just showing you here basically what you'd need to do but uh, basically you need to stick these down on there i'm not going to be doing that because i'm going to be putting a different heatsink onto this uh, raspberry pi 4 which i'll show you in another video now for all you impatient people this is the new ice tower cooler which i'll be using on my raspberry pi 4 you can see that in another video but basically we've got everything up and running now all we need to do is plug in our uh, micro sd card with our operating system and get it ready and get it booted up so i'm just going to slot this one in here and there we go then all i've got to do is add a bit of power to the raspberry pi and also add the mini hdmi cable to the hdmi on the back of the monitor add in my ethernet or connect to the wi-fi add in a bit of power there and also add in a little keyboard and mouse there as you can see i'm using this little one uh, from re which is a very good little option here and it's just got a little dongle which you plug into the raspberry pi then we can turn it on and it will boot straight up and you can see here it's got noobs here and i can choose to boot to the raspberry pi so it's going to install that onto the system you've got another choice there if you want to choose that i'm just going to go with the raspberry pi here and uh and let that install now it does take a bit of time so do be patient and once it's finished it will say successful you can click ok here and then boot up to your device for the first time and you can see this is what you've got we've got a fully working operating system on our raspberry pi 4 didn't have to do any hard work at all just put it together very simple and easy to do anyone with a bit of basic knowledge can do that you don't have to go out and start making bootable uh, micro usbs and all this sort of stuff it's just very easy it's all done for you and uh, basically for a set price you can get yourself a nice little kit like this and get you up and running now all we need to do is decide on what we want to actually do with this raspberry pi so let me know in the comments section below what you want me to see me do with this raspberry pi and uh, i'll do my best to make those videos for you because there's plenty you can do with it do a bit of research and have a look at some stuff you'd like to see me uh, do on this channel with the raspberry pi and i'll do my best to make those videos for you now also i did say it can do a bunch of different things on here i'm not going to go into that too much in this video i just wanted to show you an overview of the actual kit and what it can actually do for you and how easy it is to get it up and running 
But that said, I'll leave all the links in the video description for you. My name has been Brian from brighttechcomputers.co.uk. This is the Labist Raspberry Pi 4 Model B, 4 gigabyte version of the uh, Raspberry Pi. So I'll leave the link in the video description. Not a bad little kit for the money if you want to get into Raspberry Pis. I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.